Hello guys and welcome back to another gold farming guide. In this video I'm just gonna show you all the vendor items uh, which you can buy for a low amount of gold and repost them on the auction house and sell them for a larger amount of gold. Uh, I'm gonna show you my route that I'm doing and buy all of those items in the fastest possible way first we're gonna go to some random locations to the npcs and buy all of the items then we're gonna go uh, to the alliance side only what you can buy on alliance then we go booty bay and lastly it's gonna be the burning crusade before i start uh, keep in mind that on every server the pricing is gonna be different so for example if it's on my realm uh, 2000 gold it can maybe be on your realm uh, 500 go gold or maybe 10,000 gold so before you start this farm uh, check all of those items which one is good which one is good selling and just go simply and uh, pick them up and post them on the auction house also uh, thank you everybody for watching these videos and supporting me and uh super subscribing to me until now and yeah thank you thank you thank you so let's not talk uh, much more uh, let's just go straight into the farm and the first location it's gonna be in uh, stormwind here in the old town and all you need to do is go uh right here let me see ah yeah there it is this guy so to this location here this guy is called Lenny Fingers Bikoi and you can buy from him this lucky shirt. As you can see it has a minimum buyout of 2000 gold and the original average really sold 0.04 and also I sold one 3 days ago for 8k gold and I think I mentioned it in the last video when I did the mailbox opening so simply buy this item and repost it and also if you don't have uh, this toy you can buy this toy for 190 gold and use it for yourself so that's it for this guy let's just go now to the next one so the next vendor seller is here in uh, Duskwood as you can see here right here on the map and he's selling some recipes and I think a belt yeah as you can see here the dreamer's belt then we have recipe holy protection potion and goblin jumper cables so we're just gonna buy all of this and uh yeah that's it for this guy let's go now to the next one so boys the next one uh is here in the hillsborough foothills and this one is located at turnhold keep and this one is a bit tricky so you need to fly here uh, beside and there you go she is called Chris Legasse the free willing tradeswoman and she is selling some belts and bracers and chest armor uh, those green items beer bracers then wolf bracers and the owl bracers I'm just gonna buy everything from this and sell them so that's it uh, from this guy let's go now to the next one the next one guys is in moonglade here so if you have a druid it shouldn't be a problem you just use your teleport to moonglade if you don't have a druid then you just go in stormwind or or uh, orgrimmar and teleport to mount hyjal and for Mount Hyjal you just fly here to Moonglade, so it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, the NPC is located here, in this little house, so you just go there and talk to Genia Sun Shadow, and she is selling some dresses and a Royal, royal Dugui. As you can see the, the minimum buyouts are really good, so let's just buy all of this and we are finished with this guy now let's go to the next one so now guys we are here in winter spring so as you uh, knew we were lastly here in moonglade so 
just fly from Moonglade to Winterspring and come here to Everlook and go to this guy here in this building to this uh, how it's called Xyzer Fizzlebolt and he's selling some engineering recipes you just click here on all and then you go to the next pages and you can buy four engineering recipes uh, the schematic master of target dummy then a powerful C forium charge uh, delicate arcanite converter and uh, gyro freezer ice reflector so just simply buy all of those and uh, we are now finished here there is a second guy which we are gonna be uh, in like a minute he is also located in winter spring so see you there so we are now at our second guy also in winter spring first we was in Everlook now here where this cave is uh, right beneath this path you just go to this guy the Leo home and you talk to him and he's selling you the plants frost card so if you don't have it you can teach it for yourself and craft this item if you don't have it then just buy it and post it on the auction house now we are done here and lastly i think we have two items left one is the dungeon old uh old hill spread foothills so let's just go now there so guys we are now in the dungeon old hill spread foothills uh which you can easily come from your uh, portals in stormwind or uh, orgrimmar so just go to the portal rooms and teleport to uh, the caverns of time and then you enter the dungeon and you need to find this guy thomas jens so he's running this path here like this all the time so just go there and find him talk to him and he's selling a bunch of items as you can see and they are all costing 40 30, 30 38 copper 28 copper so literally nothing well, some of those items have a really good sell rate example 0 0.08 then this 0 0.09 uh, what we have more uh, 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 let's see this apprentice shirt 0 0.12 and 0 0.10 so i'm just gonna buy all of those items like this and i'm gonna sell them on the auction house also there is a pattern the riding crop so also buy this uh, we are now finished here now let's go to the next one and last uh for these random locations we are here in the old dalaran so you just take the portal from your uh, mage towers uh, in stormwind or orgrimmar and you come here to this location and you need to go inside here to the first stage shop and you ta talk to angelique butler and she's selling some uh, dresses and the nurse gone so we're just gonna buy all of this as you can see wound dressing 0 0.08 4k on my realm uh, 10k on my realm 0 0.06 and this one actually has zero auctions and regional market value 14k so we just buy all of this now we're finished with uh, random locations let's just go now and uh, pick up only for the alliance side so let's go so boys now for the alliance side we are again here in Tuskwood and you need to go here to Darkshire inside this building just uh, just give me a second okay uh, you need to come here up on the stairs so enter the building up to the stairs and then you first talk to Daniele Zipstitch and this is her sister Sherry Zipstitch so let's go our items and you have here a tailoring recipe which we're gonna buy the bright yellow shirt and from her sister as well we're gonna buy those two items greater adept rope and the dark silk shirt now we are finished here and the next location it's gonna be red ridge mountains again 
so see you in a minute there. So we are now in Red Ridge Mountains and you need to come here to Lakeshire and you need to talk to Amy Davenport, the tradeswoman and she is also selling uh, some patterns, the black whelp tunic and the red woolen bag. So we're gonna buy those two and that's it uh, for this location. Now let's go to the next location which is gonna locate it here in the Gallarat Valley. So see you soon. So we are now at the second location. As you can see it's here on the map and we need to go to talk to Clyde Rental and he's also selling one recipe and that's, that's this one the pattern black whelp cloak so we're just gonna buy this one and we are finished with this location now let's go to our next location so the next location is here in uh, wetlands as you can see and we need to come here to the swift gear station and we go inside and we talk to Wena Silk Beard, and she's selling also some items, some stocking pants, which look pretty decent 5000 gold, 0 0.02, and Red Whelp Glows, a pattern, and the other Azurk Silk Glows, also a pattern. So we're just gonna buy those three items, and now we are going to. Uh, Manatil Harbor. So, see you in a second there. So, we are now at Manatil Harbor, as you can see on the map. So, you just fly from there to here to Manatil Harbor. And first, we're gonna here uh, go inside to the blacksmith to Brack Durnat, and we're gonna buy all of those items. He's selling some uh, maces and swords. Then we go to the armorer to brain arm and we're gonna buy also all of those items. Let's see if he has anything more. No. And to the gunsmith we're gonna buy those two items. And lastly we're just gonna go here to those two boyers and we're gonna also buy all of this and from this guy as well so that's it for this location now we are finished with this and we're just gonna go now to booty bay and I'm gonna show you the items which we can buy there so see you there so boys we are now here at booty bay as you can see and the location is here uh, in the Strangleton Vale here the Cape of Strangleton there is the location and first we're gonna enter this building and you're just gonna go here to the supplier this narc pirate supplier and you're gonna buy those two pets i already did then this guy is selling some of uh, the cooking recipes bunch of cooking recipes also buy all of this then the next is this boyer you're gonna buy those two bows i don't want to buy them because i already bought all of these items then this guy is selling nothing then you go this to the mace crafter you buy those two items and from the uh zarina cromwell the superior weaponsmith you also buy all of those items now uh let's go behind this building here there should also be NPCs inside. Yeah, blacksmithing supplies. Uh, no, it's not this one. It should be in this building. But there is no NPC because I think some bastard came here and killed him. But, ah, there is. He ju just respawned. <laughs> so we go the, to the superior armorer and we're gonna buy all of these items, those, those helms, shields and uh, other stuff so let's get all of this next up is here uh, some guy which is selling some tailoring I think no it's not here yeah, it is here somewhere 
but as I said, some bastard is all killing all of them. So you can see this guy, cloth armor and accessories, you can buy also items from him, but I don't know what idiot is killing those NPCs, so I can't actually show you right now. And uh, also go up above here in this building right next to it and talk to this tailoring supplies. He's also selling some uh, patterns as you can see. Buy those two patterns and that's it for Booty Bay. Or maybe let me just check here. I'm not sure. I was a long time not here. No. So that's it. Yeah. So only this building, this building here uh, be behind and this one and this one. But sadly we can't buy those shirts from this guy we were gonna buy it next time so that's it for booty bay now let's go to the burning crusade and when i show you these few npcs we are then done with all of the items so let's go well we are now in the burning crusade expansion and we are here in shatrat so you can just go to your portal room and teleport here and first we're gonna go here in the lower city and we're gonna talk uh, to this guy Aaron Hulman. he's selling some blacksmithing supplies and you have a few of those recipes which we can buy so which go, we're just gonna buy this plants adamantine and appear then adamantine mall next is adamantine cleaver and adamantine dagger then we're gonna fly straight here to this uh, speciality tailoring supplies and we're gonna also buy all of those patterns which he's selling like this and also to those two the spell fire you can only buy the spell cloth and sell it so we're just gonna buy this and here shadow cloth uh, this is it for shatrach now let's go to the other location so we are now at our second location in the burning crusade and it's located here in hellfire peninsula in temple of how it's called tel hamat and you need to talk to Tala talara the weapon merchant and she's also selling some weapons and i think they're pretty cool looking as you can see this maze, then this blade, also a uh, axe, then this Trenicu war blade, also a uh, axe, and this uh, warp horn spear. Uh, they all look pretty decent, so we're just gonna buy all of those items, and that's it for this location. Now let's just go to our last location and then we are finished with this video because it's taking too long. Let's go. And boys, we are finally in our last destination, uh, which is located in Netherstorm. And you need to fly here to Stormspire up above uh, to this guy, to dealer Jadian. And you talk to him, then you go on all and we can buy all of those weapons which are pretty cool looking i mostly like this one the ethereum faceplate which is selling for 2000 gold 0 0.06 is the original average daily sold and the nexus claw also good looking so just buy all of those items and i also don't have any more room so yeah that's pretty much it from this guy. Also, you can fly to this guy here, dealer uh, Rashad. He's also setting, uh, selling some pets, which you can also buy. So just go for it, use them for yourself or post it on the auction house if you want. Uh, that's it, guys, uh, for this video. I hope you liked it. Sorry that it took so long, but I needed to do it so long. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. And as I mentioned before, all of those items, uh, some of them have a good value, some of them are bad and have a lower value. And 
as always don't expect them to sell right uh, instantly on the auction house this is just a little bonus which you can get for um, I don't know how much we paid maybe 100 gold for all of those items so just go for it and post it on the auction house and even if one or two items sell from all of those you're still gonna make some profit so that's it for the video uh, like it if you like it and please subscribe to me i wish you all a good one and see you in another video bye bye